I was running six miles a day, lifting five days a week, counting my macros, eating in a caloric deficit, but I wasn't losing any weight. What was I doing wrong? I'd done this before, after all, I'd lost 75 pounds in the past. Why wasn't it working this time? The answer for me and a lot of people is pumping the brakes on alcohol. As soon as I stopped drinking, I lost fat. In this video, we're gonna go over exactly why and how alcohol absolutely kills fat loss. These are the top seven reasons why alcohol is making you fat and why you either need to cut back or stop altogether if you're serious about getting leaner. The first and most important reason alcohol promotes fat storage is that alcohol is so toxic to your body that your body literally puts everything on hold and says, let's first break down and get rid of alcohol. This means that any food in your system whether that be carbohydrates, protein, or fat, it's going to be treated as if you were in a caloric excess and it'll be immediately stored as fat. Restated in another way, whenever alcohol is in you, any calories from any food in your system gets turned directly into body fat immediately. Reason number two, alcohol decreases brain activity in your prefrontal cortex. What does that mean? So the prefrontal cortex is the area of your brain that's responsible for planning and delayed gratification. It's the part of your brain that would normally say, hey dude, it's like midnight. Do not eat that double cheeseburger. Maybe just snack on a protein bar or some Quest chips instead. So when you're drinking, that part of your brain, the part that is responsible for self-control, it shuts down and you're more likely to binge on unhealthy foods. Reason number three, alcohol decreases how sensitive you are to your body's signals that we are full. Normally, our body releases chemicals to our brain when it senses that we've eaten enough. Our brain interprets this as being full or satiated. Alcohol numbs us to these messages and because of this, we are more likely to eat and eat and continue eating far past what we would normally have eaten to feel full without being under the influence. This can lead to a huge caloric surplus which gets directly converted to fat as we've already learned from reason number one. Reason number four, alcohol absolutely destroys your sleep. Doesn't matter if you feel like it helps you get to sleep, sorry to say, but your sleep sucks when drinking. There are two phases of sleep that are most important. These phases are deep sleep and REM sleep or rapid eye movement sleep. In general, it is believed that deep sleep restores your body's physical functions and REM sleep restores your body's mental functions. In REM sleep, your brain gets rid of toxic waste and also consolidates or saves your memory. When you drink alcohol, you go immediately into a short phase of deep sleep, but the rest of the night is only light sleep fragmented by bouts of awakeness that most don't remember. You get no deep sleep and usually zero REM sleep. This means you're tired, you're groggy, you're slow, forgetful, anxious, and what do we do when we get those feelings? Well, we eat. We eat to offset anxiety, we eat to not feel tired, we eat to get more energy, and when we eat in surplus, we store fat. Reason number five, alcohol prevents your body from absorbing certain vitamins and minerals. Over the course of time, your body starts to become low in some of these things. Your body doesn't know how to say, hey listen, I need more vitamin B12, please take some vitamin B12 pills, no. The only way your body knows to replenish what it needs is by saying, hey, you need to eat, you are hungry. So, you eat food, and oftentimes you eat too much food because the food that you eat doesn't necessarily have those specific vitamins and nutrients that your body is craving. And when you eat too much food, this leads to too many calories and you guessed it, fat storage. Reason number six, alcohol decreases the amount of testosterone in the body. There are many effects of this vital hormone, but for the purposes of our discussion, suffice it to say that testosterone increases muscle mass and decreases abdominal fat. So it goes without saying that if alcohol kills testosterone production, you lose muscle and you gain abdominal fat. Lastly, on a high level, from a cellular standpoint, alcohol depletes the things your cells need to burn fat. Specifically, breaking down alcohol decreases the molecule NAD and increases the molecule NADH. NAD is needed to burn fat, NADH is used to form fat. Putting this together, it stops fat burning in its tracks and it immediately flips the switch in your cells to start making or storing fat instead. These are the top seven reasons 
reasons why alcohol kills fat loss and promotes fat storage. If you're struggling to hit your fitness goals, try giving up alcohol. If you like this content, hit those like and subscribe buttons. I'll be posting a lot more videos on weight loss, training, fitness, and health. Thanks, and see you on the next one.